Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be demonstrating how to make these lovely baskets. Aren't they beautiful? I have crocheted these and they, some of them went bad. So I, I don't like cutting doilies that I have made it with my own hands. So this is what I figured what to do with them. Baskets! <laughs> so one is going to go to the bathroom, one is going to, I'm going to put my yarn in, and one is going to put, put uh, my scraps or whichever I find. Aren't they cute? Okay, the, the first one I will be demonstrating is with uh, only starch and water, and it, this isn't strong as this one, but either way it works. I like the second uh, recipe that I'm going to be giving comparing to the first one. The first one does the job still. See how it stands? It stands perfectly, but this one is stronger. Doesn't this look nice? Okay, I hope you like this tutorial. I just didn't want to get rid of them because they're precious to me. I have crocheted this. This one, especially when I was a teenager. So, uh, yeah, so let's get started, and I hope you like this tutorial. Here is the doily. Actually, it's a, a it was a tablecloth like this, and I've been using it for years, and I noticed it has the holes on it, and I never had the time to fix it. I'll just show it to you here. See, I was going to repair it, but like I said, I never had the time and I didn't want to go, I didn't want this to go to waste because it's handmade and it's precious for me and I just didn't want to, I don't know, I just, I just wanted to do something with it, something useful. And I also noticed on this tablecloth that I have, because I was using, yeah, be careful with those tied, um, uh, stain removers like this one had a yellow stain I think from a coffee or from a tea I can't remember and I I bought it new it was a couple of years ago when it first came out those tied stain removers that you punch in like a pen and it just ruined my cotton like this edge is gone so I might be using this one but the rest of the tablecloth is perfect and it's all handmade right for crocheters you guys know it's it's not easy to make these. It's it's not easy. So I thought I should do something, and I was planning to crochet a bin or a for my bathroom, just to put you know garbage away. And I wanted something fancy, something unique. So I got this idea. So let's get started. And uh, I just wanted to show you how it looks like. It's pretty long. It's, I think, 31 inches. Yeah, when you measure it uh, across, it's 31 inches wide. So here is the gorgeous ivory tablecloth that I have crocheted, I believe, when I was in my teens in the 80s. Yeah, so let's go to the kitchen just to show you a couple of... Uh, you just need starch water and that's all you need. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. I have starch in the jar. I always empty my um, my powders, whatever I buy, put, put them in jars, glass jars. And I have boiled about, I don't want to boil too many waters because I'm just, this is only for a demonstration how to, how to work on this. <laughs> so, um, what, I, what you need is about 100 gram of boiling water that is boiling and to mix the starch I just need a tablespoon, I'll grab it from here. It's a pretty big tablespoon here. Here's the tablespoon so I'm just going to grab two, two, just like this, just like this and if you've been cooking for so many years, you know you don't need a uh, measuring. <laughs> Just a hundred gram, a hundred millimeter 
Milum. Just a little bit of water. And uh, this is all I do. And I boil the water. So this is all to it. And it's starch is white. Any kind of starch you can use. I think this is corn starch. You can use wheat starch. Oh, there's so many starch out there. And it's, if you have anything in your home, anything can work. You can, uh, I see people that do it with glue too, liquid glue. Yeah, but I didn't want to go out and buy. Okay, so this is done. I'll just cover this. And the water that I have boiled. It's half of a liter. So I just put it here. It's boiled water. I just move this here. And I'm just going to mix it with this. Yeah, this is all to it. And after it's mixed, I'm going to let it cool for 15 minutes. I just couldn't get rid of that doily. It's it's gorgeous and it's handmade. Oh, I, and I was in my in, the, in my teams, so I know most of the people I'm sure that will feel like me. So I thought to myself, I'm gonna crochet anyways. Why don't I make something out of this doily? And I have so many. I remember I made a hat and I washed it because you can wash this. You can just put it in your washer because it's natural, right? It only has starch in it, so uh, that's all to it. This is all already done, and I'm gonna let it cool, and I'll come back, and I'll put the the doily in the <laughs> in this. Uh, it's gonna look good. I'm I'm sure it's gonna uh, uh, look good. So let it cool for 15 minutes, and I'll come back, and I'll show you how to put it on the. Uh, bin that I have. Okay, so I waited. I don't think I waited 15 minutes, but uh, it's cool enough to put my hand in. It's still warm, but it's not hot, hot. So I'm just gonna soak it. Soak it, soak it, soak it. Yeah, it will become jelly. And you know what? It took all, all of the liquid. So this is perfect. So I just wanna, if you, if you do more, Put more water. Let's say you double this uh, recipe, then uh, you will have uh, more liquid left over. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. I would just put it in a jar and use it for next time, but it will become jelly because it's starch, right? And like I said, you can always wash this so uh, no chemicals involved. And it's cotton yarn. A thread that I have crocheted. Here we go. I'm just gonna let it sit there and I'm gonna put my uh, bin here, move my bin, and I will wrap it around. Okay, this is the bin. So I am going to put this gorgeous crocheted tablecloth. Just gonna. I, I'm, because I'm a crocheter, right? I know which one is wrong, which one is right side. And so I'm just going to squeeze. And uh, squeeze. And then I'm going to put this in the middle. Just, oh, this isn't even tall enough. Yeah. So. Well, it would be tall enough, but I need something taller to put underneath. Or maybe this would be even perfect. And I have these uh, brown oak from Ikea that I bought years ago. And they're perfect. Just like, so you just pull it like this. So this is in the middle. Just be careful that that's in the middle. And we're going to have it sit 
for a, for a day or two maybe. And I will come back to show you the end result. And this is how it looks like so far. And just be sure that everything is symmetric on uh, all sizes, all sides. Yeah, and I don't have to worry about fixing those. Yeah, it's, it's the detergent, right? The detergent that we wash with. It's not like broken, the thread isn't broken, but for some reason it happens. I never had the time to fix it. So I thought, why don't I make it? Been out of this. You can shape this anything with you, anything you want. I am planning to make a like you can shape it anything. I have these containers that you can use to shape it. Square, you have square containers like this. You can shape it. You can shape it anything you want with it. So, uh, just to give you an idea. So I'll come back to show you when it's dried. Uh, at this point, I don't know, but it, it should take about 24, 24 hours because it's pretty hot here in Edmonton, Alberta. Yep, and I'll come back you sh to show you how it looks like. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to do a second project. This is going to be a different recipe. And this time I grabbed all of my crochets that I have done in my life. I have a set here. I might be selling this. I never used them. Yeah, it's brand new. It's been sitting here. So it has this uh, eclipse shape. And then four of this piece. It's brand new. Okay, the ones that I'm going to be putting, there's a couple of them here. So uh, here's one piece. Just wanted to see how it works. It doesn't matter what color, but this one I'm th planning to make a, to make this uh, clear. I have this wonderful clear container. I bought it from Michaels, and I put my projects in it, and I just love it. So I thought, why don't I make a project uh, container out of uh, crocheted items? So, and uh, you can put fabric too. This uh, recipe is going to be way stronger than the first one that I gave you. So uh, I'm going to put this in the bottom and surround these. So three pieces. And I have more here. I also did this embroidery on a Singer sewing machine. I took a course in Turkey how to do it. Just to give you an idea. Not 1986, I believe. I did that. I took that summer course between school. I always wanted to learn something. And here's a crochet, beautiful doily. Okay, so and I have more here that I have crocheted. Just to give you an idea, so I'm gonna put these three pieces together. So and I'll go back to my kitchen, I'll set it up, and I'm going to use this container. And I like to put a bag so it's easier to take it off. Just to give you an idea, to, so I'm going to cover it with, a, is, even with a saran wrap would work. Okay, and meanwhile, it's been almost uh, a couple of hours, and uh, this has been sitting here. Isn't this lovely? Oh my goodness, it's pretty tough, still a little bit wet here, yeah, at the bottom. So I'm going to wait for another day for this, it hasn't been 24 hours yet, but uh, yeah. The reason I'm using the second recipe is because it's a basket, right, I will be carrying it, so I want it the... Uh, I want the recipe to be stronger than this. Well, this is pretty good too. See, it's, it's it's coming. Needs to just dry out. Okay, and I'll see you in the kitchen. Okay, for this recipe, for the second recipe, what we need is four spoon of uh, flour, 
four spoon of uh, starch. It can be any starch. Um, four spoon of sugar. Two spoon of uh, vinegar. And I'm just using the white vinegar. And uh, let's get started. So I'm using this spoon that I have a huge one. <laughs> so that is four spoon of sugar, two, three, four, four spoon of uh, flour, one, two, three, four, four spoon of starch, so one, two, three, four, it splashes everywhere, and then I need, this is white vinegar that I bought it from Walmart, it's like, one ninety nine in Canadian, and I need a uh, two spoon of vinegar. So one, two, okay. And I boiled a cup of water, so it's boiled. And uh, forgot to get my thingy here mix it with. I like this. Years ago I bought it. I can't remember where I bought it. So I'm going to pour the water slowly. As you can see, I'm just going to check if you can see. Got. It's pretty hot, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add cool water and then I will add uh, that add and I will continue stir it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have stirred it. Just ate some almonds. <laughs> well, okay, I stirred it enough, and when you look at it with your spoon, you don't you don't want to see any flour or any clumps or anything. So it's perfect. It kind of creamed up a little bit, foamed a little bit, but no, nothing to worry about. So I'll just put this in my sink. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak these, soak them. Just like this. This should be stronger than the one that I made because uh, like I said I'm going to be carrying this around and putting stuff in it right. And what you do is you just wash it and reuse it to make it a different shape. Just like this. So soak it very nicely. This. this is the big one. This will pick up all of that, the rest, and I'll bring my container here. I forgot to put wrap it around, so I don't want it to get dirty. Well, I can wash it. It's starch, right? So I'll bring my container. It's going to be tall. I hope. Uh, yeah. Need to figure that out, and I'll be right back. Yeah. It, see, it picked up all of the juice. Perfect. So I can't wait to see the end result. I keep on looking at the other one. <laughs> oh, we have to be creative, right? I don't want to get rid of my doilies. I love them. Even they're old. I've been using them for years. Like I've been married. We turned 25. 25 years and we have one child. Well, he's not a child anymore. He's an adult. He's 23. And uh, I've been using these 
but I use these every day. My living room, my bedroom. So don't be scared to use your doilies. And then you can create something like this. Why not? Yeah, so I just wanted to share you this thought that I had. I'm doing it with you guys, so I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> oh, I just can't wait to see the end result. So this is a... I had two, three more pieces, but I can't, I couldn't find them. There must be in my containers. Um, like I said, you just wash it and redo it, change it to a different shape. Okay, so I'll bring my container and I'll be back to show you how to cover it. Okay, so here is the container. <laughs> okay, and I'm, I grabbed the bag. I hope it will fit. Yeah, it's not going to fit. I don't have any big bags. Let me see. Because with the bag, it's easier to pull it out, I'm assuming. So what I'll do is I'll do half-half. Yeah, and I'll put this clear bag. Maybe I'll bring another one. Oh boy, I didn't think about this. I did not plan ahead. <laughs> and I don't edit my tutorials, my videos, when I uh, load them. I don't have the time, sorry. Okay, so let's do it this way. Just to help it pull it out right, that's what I want. When I'm pulling it out, that's the main thing. Okay, so I put my crystal balls on the bottom so I can give the height. The other one had the same crystal, I had another crystal balls, but unfortunately, it did not help. It wasn't tall enough. Maybe I should bring this here. So I'm going to put this on the bottom, the fabric, and I'm going to play around with it. Let's see if it's the right way. This is more uh, strong, and you can feel it, like the juice, the you call it. Yeah. Okay, so so this is what Okay, I do apologize. My memory card died on me, so I didn't know that I was wrapping it around like this, as you can see. So I did wrap it. I'm just going to wait it to dry. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm sure it's going to take more than 24 hours. And I will come back to show you the end result. Okay, so here it is. This is the first one that I have done, and it is pretty, pretty strong, like tough. The basket is still in there. I'm planning to make another one for my son's house. <laughs> make it look pretty, right? Or I'll just put one in the basement. But this is just great. And I'm just going to pull it. Oh, it's, it is pretty stuck there. Let me see. Yeah. I pull it. And the, here's the other one that I did with you guys. Oh, it's coming out easily. Just need to pull it nice and... Yeah. Need to work on it. So that's going to take time. And here's the other one that I made. This one has been here for two days. And this is way tougher. And you can see some of the stuff are falling. Because uh, it was pretty strong and juicy, right? And I made another one here. Look. This is one doily, like one piece. I stretched it. And this one I did stretch it. And it did. And it, Oh, this is even strong enough. So, with the second recipe that I gave you, if you can notice, this one is stronger. But this one isn't that strong. So, I would just use your judgment on which one you want to, uh, which recipe you want to use. But like I said, this is only water and starch, so you can wash it and remake it anytime. 
This one has sugar, water, starch, vinegar. What else did we put? Yeah, and flour we put. Okay. So on this recipe, I did half of this one. I remember we did four because this one was bigger. This, that, uh, the other one that I did. So this is two day. I would leave it for another day. Let me just hold it. Just to give you an idea. It's, it's dry, but it's not that dry. And the weather was pretty cool here in Edmonton. So we didn't have that sunny, hot, hot, hot. So Thursday, Friday, it's going to go up to 30 degrees. So I will take this out. And uh, this is how you do it. So I just wanted to share you how you can um, use your unused doilies, your strap, uh, uh, strap do doilies that you, you, haven't, you haven't been using. And you see how jelly this is? It has sugar in it, right? I can taste it. Yeah, it has sugar. So it's pretty strong. This, I, I made this one yesterday, so it's less than a day. I'll just show it to you how it's going to look like. Hola! Hola! Doesn't this look nice? I loved it and I have more doilies everywhere in my container so I'm gonna find them and work on them and create something like I don't want to pay six dollars for a, a basket that looks like knit like why I have so much I have so many in my home I have so much yarn I just wanted to reuse them like recycle them reuse them and then I can wash them and make another shape so play around with it. So I hope you like this tutorial. It was just a brief tutorial that I have made. And uh, just to give you an idea and on how to uh, create, how to make items that uh, you can reuse. And I think it turned out pretty good. Just. Doesn't this look nice? Oh my goodness, I'm falling in love. <laughs> it's like a glue, the second recipe that I gave, because it's holding the two uh, doilies together. So it's pretty strong stuff. And here is the second basket. Oh wow, I love it how it turned out. Again, uh, if you have comments, please put them below. And this is just an idea of how to reuse your doilies. I'm sure you crocheted a lot like I did in these uh, past 40 years. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, share it with your family and friends. Enjoy it and have a great day.